Hey, what's up guys, Jason here from Tech Kids, and today we're talking about a hot new security device from Gatekeeper. By their own description, the Gatekeeper is a lock and key system for your computer. It also doubles as a tracker when used with the free iPhone or Android app via Bluetooth. Gatekeeper made their startup through Kickstarter earlier in 2015 and they recently just released a 2.0 version of their hardware. Now I was sent the 1.0 version to review, but the 2.0 version is available on Amazon for just over $50. However, 1.0 functionality looks to be the same as 2.0, but 2.0 appears to have a new look and feel to the hardware itself. Upon receiving your new Gatekeeper system and unboxing, you will have the Gatekeeper key, the Gatekeeper USB lock, two CR2032 batteries, and a handy little key ring. Using the Gatekeeper software and hardware, one can automatically lock or unlock his or her computer based on the proximity of the key fob to the USB lock. It does this by storing your login credentials to the key fob. When you walk away with your key fob on your person, the USB lock will detect the distance and lock your computer for you when the locking distance has been reached. There are three parts to it, the Gatekeeper USB lock, the Gatekeeper key, and the Gatekeeper software you install on your computer. The Gatekeeper software is compatible with Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and 10, and Mac OS 10. The tracker piece, on the other hand, uses Bluetooth to detect the location of the Gatekeeper key. Setup of the Gatekeeper software is fairly straightforward. Visit the download section of their website and choose the application version of the operating system you are running. There is also a firmware updater available for download. On that same page, you can find the install instructions, updater instructions, a digital version of the Quick Start Guide, and the user manual, all available for web viewing and download. Once the installer is downloaded and you've gone through the installation process, you're ready to get started. Plug the USB lock into an available USB port on the computer and launch the software. At this point, you can register your key fob to the USB lock by following the instructions. Once the software finds the key, you'll be prompted to enter your username, domain, and password. This process is what allows the automatic unlocking of the computer. Once that is finished, you can toggle the lock settings and set the lock distance for your environment. Now before I move on, at the time of making this video, there is a small bug with the software on Mac OS. Basic functionality appears to work just as it should, but in the situation where you return to the machine without the Gatekeeper key fob on you, the operating system appears to just lock up. Now rebooting the machine manually, and everything appears to be okay after that, uh, Gatekeeper Tech Support is aware of the issue and is working on a solution, but they did not provide an ETA of that fix. From a security standpoint, I would never advise any users to save the login information with the device. With that information being saved on the key fob, all the bad guy has to do is get your key fob in order to access your computer. Now, of course, the solution for this is not saving your login information with the device, and thus not allowing the device to unlock the computer automatically. By unchecking that option, but still using the key fob, we now have a two-factor authentication method required to unlock the computer. Now, this I like very much, because now someone would need both the password and the key fob to unlock the computer. Now, on the other hand, there's practicality. I just don't believe this to be useful in all situations and environments. If you're someone that works from home in their PJs or in a smaller, slow-paced environment, this just isn't going to work for you. The reason is that the key fob has to be on you at all times for it to work. Now, unless you're in the habit of taking your keys with you to the bathroom or to make a PB&J sandwich in the kitchen, this just isn't going to work for you. However, comma, in some higher-paced environments where an ID badge is required to be displayed at all times, this would work if it's required to have the key fob attached to it. I'm talking about places like hospitals, clinics, government buildings, and the like. On another positive note, Gatekeeper also has an enterprise solution which allows network administrators to manage all Gatekeeper devices distributed in their environment. While I don't know all the ins and outs of the enterprise software, the bullet points on the website indicate it can manage all Gatekeepers in the network, has a central administrator console, you can force a two-factor authentication, enable and manage multi-user modes, and it has event logging. Now to wrap this up, I want to look past some of the software bugs that I ran into using it over the past couple weeks because I, because I do believe that Gatekeeper will isolate and fix those problems down the road. But I do think the Gatekeeper would be a hard sell for some corporate environments just because of practicality. But in that same breath, 
I believe it might be a, an excellent addition to other corporate environments just because of the added security and ease of mind. Having said that, the people at Gatekeeper have developed a very forward-thinking product with both security and ease of use in mind, and I commend them for that. That's it for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the page. We'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.